Now this is the uh, drawer that holds a lot of the bone tools. This is the kind of stuff that really fascinates me. The, I guess it's the, the concept of, of bones and then taking those bone, bones and making them into something functional. You may not be aware of it, this is a tarso metatarsal from a turkey, a lower leg bone from a turkey. And these were very, very good bones to make very, very sharp awls. You can see the point here. And these things were used for poking holes, driving holes into deer hides and things of that sort. These are some of the most easily made tools. This is the ulna, uh, the, one of the arm bones or front leg bones from white-tailed deer. And basically it's, it's shaped uh, in this manner naturally and all they do is sharpen the end. And again, you can see the, the sharpness. You can see where the use is. It's actually tapered at the end to this very sharp point. And uh, this one not so much, but you can see again, it's tapered from use. This is a deer antler, and you can see it's been hollowed out. And this was probably made into a headdress and probably used by the shaman or the religious practitioner in ceremonial activities. Uh, another, another product that we're making uh, in, in fair numbers were bone fish hooks. Uh, and there were two, two techniques they used primarily. One was from the ulna, and another one was from the deer toe bones themselves. They would cut those in half and make them into fish hooks. Uh, occasionally you find things of this sort, uh, although this was probably not a tool. This is a part of a bear skull. And this is the, uh, one of the canines. Uh, a lot of times you'll see these canines perforated for suspension. Uh, and they would wear them as uh, gorgets or things of that sort.